Hello, y'all. Um, for today's video, I'm going to show you guys the best way to deal with the club level at any age you want to be at, you feel comfortable with. Um, for me, I'm going to be doing this at age 20. But yeah, here we go. So first thing you want to do is complete the level, really. Just at least make it to the boss once. You don't even need to beat the boss, just make it to him. Don't worry about your age, because then you can reset the level. And then from here, after you made it to the boss once, I'd worry, you know, just do what I do, really. This is probably the best way to handle the club level. I see a lot of people stuck on it, and this can probably help you with the H20 run if you're trying to do a, a young run or max age run. So you don't have to fight this guy over the counter. Just run right past him. Don't worry about these guys. You don't handle your business. Start fighting him. Handle it. And then from here, I grab the bat, typically, and go this way, obviously. And then I attack, I sprint at both of these guys, and then hit them with the light attack, because it hits both of them, which opens them up for a finisher. And then from here, you just fight. Try not to die during this fight, you know, just do your thing, see up. Um, a little side note is that there is a chance of uh, one of these people becoming on fire so they, you know, get the health back and all that where they counter you when you do a finisher. So just, just be wary of that. But if you don't get it, then you're chilling. I didn't get it, so we're chilling. Alright, for this DJ lady, typically what I do is I run up Dodge the first couple attacks and go into a leg sweep and then do a ground takedown into another leg sweep into another ground takedown and it finishes her just like what I did there. So just go back, replay the video and watch what I did there. Okay, so for now, like I said, make sure you made it, made it to the boss so you can take the shortcut to go this way. So you'll go this way and go this way. Now, key note, there's something a lot, not a lot of people know. I didn't know this. But you do not have to fight these guys. You can just come over here, grab your shrine XP. I go for the structure regain typically. So I gain more focus meter just by dodging, which is gonna be uh, useful for the boss fight. Above this door, the two trials. And then you just, you know, say you're ready, do the trials, and then we here. Now for this part, once again, you can handle it however you handle it. I normally just fight them the moment I see them. Step forward. Go this way, you know. Once the door opens, hit her before she can fight, and then she'll counter, typically. If she doesn't, then you're chilling. And then just fight. You guys can handle this however you feel most comfortable with. I just I just tee up and fight these guys. <clears throat> like most people typically like to go up and throw the people off the ledge you can do that I just get my fight in I don't use make sure a tip right now do not use any of your focus meter try and do this whole fight without using any focus because you're gonna need it for these other people that are gonna be coming up here soon And then now, and the loser. now that we handled that, your master's mind is broken. Oh, I did the wrong choice, but I typically press the up one. As long as you don't, you don't have to fight her. You can press any other option. You don't look so different. You can press any other option besides the fight one. And then you can go through the door. All right. So for this part, I typically go in with a wooden stick. Run up on her. Hit her, and into a leg sweep. Wait, I messed up. But anyway, you can throw the weapon at her, go into a leg sweep. Just make sure she drops the weapon, because it's easier to deal with her when she doesn't have a weapon. And just pay attention for her strikes. And 
always go for leg sweeps. Leg sweeps are like amazing. They're really good and you utilize them. That right there, what she just did, is probably the best easy thing to dodge. The three strike punch. They're all high, so just dodge high. I normally grab a new stick. Now this is the key part. A lot of people get stuck on this part. I bring in this stick and I just make sure they don't grab the stick. So watch. Watch how I do this. I'll explain as I go along. Okay. Alrighty, so I'm gonna go through the doors. Typically, what I do, I run up on this dude because he has more health. I hit him once with a light attack and then go into a leg sweep into a ground takedown. Strong sweep him again. Strong sweep him again. Ground takedown, he's dead. Oh, he should be dead, but you can handle it from here. He sh if I did it right, I messed up a little bit. And then just dodge these guys. She fights like how she did earlier in the other area, and then you can handle it from there. Just run it back, watch how I did that, rerun the video, watch it again, watch it in detail, see how I did that. That is the best way to take down that guy's health, because he has the most health. And then from here, what I do is I will spend the XP points on the focus bar so I can get the focus bar back for this fight. And then for this, I don't use my focus bar really. I mean, you can for this part because... Oh, and by the way, I recommend getting rid of the stick for this fight. Like that. Just get rid of it. Um, it is best to use uh, your triangle attacks or Y if you're using an Xbox controller. I don't know what it is for mouse and keyboard. The heavy attacks, basically. It's best. It gives him... You see how he's stunned? You Doing a lot of heavy attacks uh, can stun him without doing uh, structure break. So, for the first phase, all he does is really attack high, so just dodge high. And sorry chat, I had a or I called y'all chat. I'd be streaming over at Twitch on TV4 slash so just before 797. I had to do something real quick. Just keep on dodging high. First phase, all it is is high. So just you know, handle your business. If you want to use your uh, focus, you can. You don't have to. It's not really. I mainly save the focus for the second phase. You just keep fighting him. Do you think? All highs for the first phase. Mainly so. Hold L1 and flick the stick downward when he attacks. Alright, so now for the second stage, that's probably the hardest. In the whole game. You're almost as good as yet. Pay attention for when the. You'll see. I just keep on do keep on doing what you did. Always hit with me uh, heavy attacks, which is triangle, because they stun him and you can get some easy ass damage in. Keep on getting some leg sweeps in. That's the best way to deal with him is some leg sweeps, constantly. Watch for that move. I don't know how to really like give you guys tips on how to deal with that move because that leg sweep move also got me. You just got to get used to it eventually. It's going to take time, but you're going to get used to it. Okay, now for this, when he's on fire, there is typically no window opening because for some reason this dude always backsteps. So what I do is when he just pulls up. Oops. When he just pull, god damn when he just pulls up um i just dodge and then i build up my uh my strong sweet focus to just hit him with those <clears throat> just keep on getting some leg sweeps in whenever you can triangle triangle into a leg sweep Triangle, triangle into leg sweep. Free damage. Leg sweep. And then that's that. And that is how you deal with this fight. 
if you have any questions rewind the video or let me know in the comments and i can try and you know give tips in the comments but that is probably the best way to deal with this whole club section and yeah i'm gonna catch you on the next one peace